What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rogue Squadron on Games Rock. This is a game that came out originally during the um, Nintendo 64 era, and it was released on both Nintendo and on PC. <clears throat> and it's just been re-released on Steam, uh, playable in Modern Machines. That's why I felt like playing it for the channel. Um, <clears throat> it was released before that on GOG, which is actually where I got my copy from, which is what we're going from, and where I've kind of already beaten most of it. But it's Race been a while, so let me like starting over again, kinda. So we start from the first level and just um. Run over Moss Eisley with wedge Antilles, yeah. but keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. Yeah, so um, just gonna play through the game, show it, trying to show it for the first time for the most part. Um, it was, it's. It's what you would expect. It's it's Star Wars. It's Rogue Squadron. You fly X-wings and A-wings and all the rebel craft, and you shoot Tie Fighters and Walkers and stuff. And it was a lot of fun. It was really good uh, graphics and sound, and um, and the gameplay was solid. It was very challenging as well. And I've already unlocked like all of the ships you can unlock. Um, but we're gonna just play it like it's um, like we're doing the core game, like we're starting from square one. So. And when you first play these missions, you don't get to choose which craft you use. But I'll uh, go around the hangar here just so you can see what you do eventually get to choose from. There's an X Wing, there's an A Wing, y'all know what those look like. It's the Airspeeder is not available for every level. The Millennium Falcon. Uh, behind that is a TIE Fighter. You have to actually enter a code to unlock the TIE Fighter. Y Wing is usually uh, for only certain missions. V Wing is a special craft unlocked at the end of the game. The Naboo Fighter. I don't remember how I unlocked that, honestly, but Naboo Fighter is basically a souped-up X-Wing. <laughs> but we're gonna play with the X-Wing, because that's what you would be starting at. And you can actually hear a voiceover of the differences between each craft if you press the spacebar. Um, it's what you'd expect if you're at all familiar with these ships. The X-Wing is a good all-around fighter, the Y-Wing is a bomber, the A-Wing is a fast interceptor. The TIE Fighter has no shields, but is super fast and has powerful guns. Um, the story takes place... I don't know exactly when the story takes place. It's Rogue Squadron. You play as Luke Skywalker. Okay, six months have passed since the Battle of Yavin. Um, on, episode 1 had just come out when this game was released. That's where we were in the... Um, in the movies. They had uh, the original trilogy and episode 1 had come out but they hadn't made episode 2 and 3 yet. And no Clone Wars, no Rebels, and obviously no Force Awakens. We were still knee deep in Legends canon before we realized it was going to become Legends. I'm letting the crawl go even though this is just the First level of the game. I'm not going to pay too much attention to the story as it goes just because it's not, you know, um, it's not huge. The story isn't. There's not a lot of connectivity between the missions. There's kind of a plot, but it's not really major. Hey, there's us. We're Rogue Squadron X-Wings. Flying down to Tatooine for a regular patrol. Good morning, Wedge. The rest of Rogue Squadron is still back at base, but I thought we could take an early morning run through Beggar's Canyon. <laughs> Luke, I think we've got a problem. Is that my imagination, or are those? Imperial Brute Stroy, get ahead. Good So, yeah. Well, what are you getting hit for? Never mind, okay. Yeah, so this is the first level of the game, obviously. And you fly around over the, the ground. If there's no space battles in this. That's one of the weaknesses in, in my estimation of the game. But yeah, you can fly around. It's uh, kind of an open world. Not It's not on rails at any point. Oh, those are... Oh, crap. I almost shot good guys, but thankfully I missed. Someone got shot down by some pro droids, either that or they crashed into something. 
it's obviously very easy level. These pro droids are hardly a challenge at all. Um, the um, the challenge comes in trying to beat the game, the levels in within a certain time period, with a certain level of accuracy, and with a certain number of allies alive, and taking out all the enemies. That's the other part of it. So in this instance, I know that there's some enemies over here trying to hide from me, and I need to take them out if I want to get the um, the gold medal for the highest ranking. So. R2 and my actually make some noise because this is their uh, okay, I'm trying to get a better aim at it here. That's their escape pod that he and 3PO escaped on. And that's a stormtrooper I just blowed up. And if I can slow down and angle down so I can line up on this next one. Alright, we got him. Now let's finish those pro droids and go from there. Accuracy is probably the hardest um, to maintain in terms of um, the requisite level of accuracy over the course of the mission to get the gold medal. Because look, I'm having a hard time hitting my target here. Some TIE Bombers randomly showed up. And the X-Wings can pull in their S-Foils and stuff like that. Oh, I just realized one thing that we're gonna have that I can't undo is um... I'm gonna play with the advantage of all the bonuses that I found. You gotta find bonuses in the game, and they give you they're permanent upgrades. Once you find the bonus in one level, it'll let you keep the bonus for the rest of the game. So my shields are advanced, and so are my lasers. Nice work, Rogue Squadron. We might make a name for ourselves after all. So it's gonna be a little bit easier um, for me than for a first timer. And the fact that I've played it before, too. See, even, you know, trying to save my shots, my accuracy was still bad enough that I wouldn't have gotten a gold if I didn't already get it. But I was able to destroy all the enemies, I completed it in fast enough time, saved enough friendlies, and there was no bonus to find in that first level. So yeah, that's how the rating system goes. We're not going to worry too much about trying to get all the golds. Valuable rebel supplies. Whoops. That was me clicking my stick. Escort valuable rebel supplies through dangerous Imperial territory over the humid lands of Barkesh. Okay, um, just because we can and... This level doesn't call for a super fast ship, I'm gonna take the Falcon. Rogue Squadron, this is General Riken. One of our shuttles will rendezvous with a small convoy from local resistance on Barkesh, which must first travel through Imperial territory. They carry equipment and supplies vital to the Rebellion. Your mission is to rendezvous with that convoy and escort it to the landing zone. Good luck. Luke, we've already got something. Go good. Take your targets and go. Falcon's got some heavy firepower, as you can imagine. Yeah, I'm kind of going, I'm kind of diverging off the path. Shui's not going to be happy. I forget the Falcon self-repairs. Um, some of the fighters in the game do self-repair, and some do not. It's the ones that come with, that have astromech droids in them that self-repair. Oh, wow. The, um, the lasers were auto-aiming. I forgot about that. I almost never play with the Falcon. All right, roll group. Supply vehicles have begun moving. Their escort will follow shortly. Well, the Falcon has auto, and that's going to make uh, making my accuracy bonus way too easy. Okay, so I'll fly back over here. There is the convoy. The small cut of the convoy ve combat vehicles you mentioned, so I stick with the transports. It's a small map. I can fly pretty much freely wherever I want to. Um, obviously you don't want to go the wrong way Commander, this too far. Is it's you stay with the supply vehicle. Good yeah, it does. Commander, this is Riken. It's oh, shut it, Riken! I'm killing stormtroopers here! Besides, it's the supply vehicles are right there. I'm not that far from them after all. Now the fighters, that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna kill those stormtroopers first. And now I'll go for the fighters. Yeah, they had a tip off there that the fighters are going to show up. Oh, there they are. Blast them. 
Got him. Type bombers tend to kind of spawn practically out of nowhere, so you got to keep an eye out for them when you know they're going to be showing up. But so far, nothing. Any more Imperials around here I can shoot? I'm just flying off to try and find targets because it's kind of what I do when I am trying to get the gold medal. Because there's almost always a couple of targets hidden somewhere in the level. You gotta find them in order to get the gold medal on the level. That building is a blue dot on my radar. That means it's not hostile. I don't have to shoot it. Oh, I got an ATST walker. Whoa. Oh, collision damage is brutal in this game. You can easily crash and die. Crashes are not forgiving. And uh, if you die... Well, you only have uh, three lives each mission. You don't have to... Um, I don't think that the level has a, a, a... Scores you on how many lives you keep. Oh, that was where we started. <laughs> Talking engine noise is pretty loud. Of course, most of the craft their engine noise is pretty loud. Yeah, so... Uh, we're good. There's really only those two Tide Bombers, I guess. No one else is showing up. That was too easy. I don't remember it being this easy, frankly. I thought there were going to be more Tide Bombers. Oh, there they are! It's my, um... That's my missile. Weapon. Most craft have a secondary weapon. Usually a Proton Torpedo or a Concussion Missile. Uh, why wings have bombs? Tide Fighter has nothing. The speeder has his tow cable. And the Falcon, I think, just has torpedoes. The the thing where it was actually locking onto that TIE Bomber was a bonus that I picked up. At the start of the game, you don't have that feature. I don't think there's much left for these guys to have to... Oh, what? When, did, when were those turrets there? And when did I not see this sooner? I'm guessing those weren't the supply vehicles I was supposed to stay with or what I would have been getting complaints. Because um, they always complain when your guys are getting attacked. They yell at you. Rogue Squadron, where's our cover? Oh yeah, you can do a roll too. Whoa, what, 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 what are you guys shooting at? What are you guys shooting at? You have nothing to, oh, yeah, you have something to shoot at. And that's uh, probably the last of them, maybe not. Yeah, this mission is just a waiting game once you take out those guys. Type bombers usually can take a couple extra hits, but again, advanced lasers and the Falcon in particular is really powerful. Let's see, next level is, um... Okay, yeah, the next level will be more of a challenge because it's an A-wing level. We'll take the A-wing because it doesn't self-repair and it doesn't, can't take a lot of fire. So if I get hit, I could still actually get beat. They won't be as much of a cakewalk as these first two levels have been. And it looks like we're at the rendezvous point right here. Yep, that's it. The shuttle is clear. She'll pick up the rest of this cargo. The Rebel Alliance will appreciate those supplies, especially after we lost Yavin base. All right. Oh, wow, still accuracy. The Falcon fires a lot of shots. I guess I'm not terribly surprised. You had to have 40% accuracy? That's hitting against time to one every... crew and cargo of a downed rebel ship before the Imperials beat you to it. 40% accuracy, that's making half your shots. So here's the A-Wing. Kind of a bad little flat pilot texture. Oh, it's not flat. It looks flat at first, but it's not. That was actually a 3D model of a pilot Rogue in there. Squadron, this is General Riken. A rebel ship called the Nona recently crashed somewhere in this vicinity. It was carrying a team of rebel soldiers and stolen Imperial equipment. You must find them before the Imperials do. Why don't you get to see me die in this one? Multiple signals. Ties and coming in fast. Oh, sorry. Rattle up, Rogue. We have to keep searching for the Nona. Right, yeah, we got to beat the Imperials to Stay it. Usually, when the levels have a lot of enemy fighters, 
There's, they're more forgiving on your accuracy. I thought I saw some dudes over here. I did. Just a couple of pro droids, but still. They can still shoot me. Believe it or not. Yeah, they are. Fortunately, the enemy will not be attacking me most of the time. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's go find the Nona. I'm pretty sure it was over this way. You can see from the icon in the lower left that the A-Wing has um, missiles instead of shields. The upper left is my shield strength, and uh, where the crap is the Nona? I thought it was around here somewhere. Well, that's okay. If the Imperials find it, the Nona will report that they're under attack, and they'll have to go, f go help them. I guess I was wrong about where the Nona is. I guess I do go this way. Oh, there's my comrades, so yeah, they must be near. A couple of ties, buzzing like flies, or bees or something. There's a couple of pro droids over here. Yeah, this thing can't hardly take any fire, and it can't repair damage that it suffers. It kind of sucks. The Nona is reporting that they're under attack. I guess I went the wrong way after all. Can I fly over this hill? Nope, I can't fly over the hill. It's totally arbitrary, the level boundary and invisible wall deal, but it is what it is. I should I should still have time to get there. Yeah, I have to follow the water. That was my clue. That shuttle, that's our shuttle. Oh, that's, that's one of our ships. Yeah, that Imperial lander is where the Imperial forces are coming from. Inbound fighter. Yep, fighters and the... What's that, what's that TIE shooting at? They're shooting at nothing! Alright. So if I ever need to just get more accuracy artificially, I can shoot at the lander. Can't let those TIE bombers drop their payload. That shuttle is ours. The one on the Nona. I was saying I can artificially get some extra accuracy by shooting at the Sentinel Lander. It's not a target I can actually destroy. It's just too heavily armored. But I'll still get accuracy points for hitting it. Especially if there's nothing else to shoot at. My allies really seem ineffectual most of the time. They're just there for... for show, I guess you'd say. I am pretty much convinced it's impossible to actually kill that lander. It doesn't... I can still get a gold medal without killing him anyway. Wow, do you see that? The missile bounced right off him. So yeah, that is not meant to be killable. Look, the missile's still running around. And then it fell into the, the ground. That was pretty silly. Okay. Are we gonna have any more ties coming in? Yep. Okay, the shuttle's clear. Whoa! It dipped pretty far down. Like it was gonna make its... Um, like I wasn't gonna clear the, the land, I guess, but nope, it's on its way out. You're on your way, right? Where the crap are you? He's flying out of here, and we gotta protect the shuttle on the way out. There's a the shuttle, okay. There's gonna be ties coming after it, we gotta protect it from the ties. I could die. But you can die up to... Well, you can die two times and be okay, but if you die the third time, it's game over. It's like, um... It's like defend the transport in fighter squadron mode in Battlefront. Oh, I died. You can see the rippling in the ground texture. That's supposed to be the water flow. Maybe not a great effect, but it, uh, this is in 64 days. The ties mainly just follow after the shuttle. 
Kind of like how they do in, in Battlefront when they're all trying to kill the shuttle. Yes, my shields are a little weak. Don't judge me. I think we're clear. Yep, we made it. The shuttle is away. Rogue leader, get your squadron out of there. Someone's a little barrel roll on their way out. <laughs> Okay, so that was worth the gold. Wow, my accuracy is only 33%. Dang. Okay, so yeah. Next one is Defection of Karelia. Okay, this is a uh, airspeeder level. wishes to join the Rebel Alliance, but the Empire will do anything to stop him. Protect Karelia from destruction as Maydeen makes good his escape. All right. Yeah, so you have to have a airspeeder for this level. There's usually only one reason that they would require you to use the airspeeder. You'll find out why. This is Luke Skywalker, go ahead. I've received word an Imperial officer, Chris Maydeen, wants to defect. Apparently he has a lot of information on the Empire's military ground operation. I'm gonna contact him after my meeting with the city officials in the Capitol Tower. Keep your eyes open for any sign of trouble. Chris Maydeen is uh, from... Whoa, I, th I told you guys to form up. Chris Medine is uh, from Return of the Jedi. He's the one who tells them about the small Imperial shuttle that they stole. I'm playing with a gamepad, by the way. It's I find it a lot easier than playing with the joystick, which was how I did it the last time. I like the uh, the air brake effect on the speeder. It is pretty cool. Pro droids. More pro droids. Why is it pro droids? Oh, the humanity? The droid entity? The sadness of it. Repeat under attack. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha, those pro droids were a distraction to get us away from the city. Now there's TIE bombers bombing the Capitol Tower. And we gotta stop them. Can we do it? Come on! There we go. No? Yes. Alright. Relying on my throttle... Not my throttle, my radar to see where they are. They're attacking the city. I know, I'm hitting it too. Road group. Those bombers are heading straight for it. There are lots of innocent people in here. I'm not very fast. This airspeeder is not very fast. So it's hard to keep up with them. And I don't want to crash into the corner of the Capitol Tower. That will kill me. Got them both. All right, good. That was good. I think that was all of them for now. There is a bonus uh, to find in this level. I will try to do so. If nothing else, I'll show what they look like. So far, so good. Note those are my guys in the distance. The airspeeder has a side brake. Um, you can brake to the left or right, and it'll make your turn tighter. It's the only craft with that ability. Whew. He disintegrated. Can you hear me? Rogue Squadron, this is Crix Maydeen. The attack came before I could reach Riken, and I've been down in the tech center. Can you get me out? Affirmative. Look, I've got my hands full. Can you get them? Yeah, so the player character is Luke, and then the he has most of the other rogues in the squadron with him. Actually, the only one. Yeah, um, from the movies, there was um, Wedge, obviously, and then Wes Jansen and Hobby Clivian, and Zev Sineska, all guys who were with Rogue Squadron up to um, Empire Strikes Back. And they're in this game. None of them are voiced by the original actors, but that's who is in Rogue Squadron at this time in the story. You can actually like see biographies on the rogues in the game. I'm, I'll show that at one point during this uh, this uh, series. Yeah, I've got a problem here. Inbound fighters at 1013. Hold on, Wedge. Those are more. Those are more bombers. Oh. 
Chewy, well, what are you doing here? How you doing, kid? Thought I might give you a hand. This is my hometown, after all. Yep. Han Solo is from Kareli, everyone knows. Alright, now, there is a... There's, there's the bonus. You see that little yellow thingy? That's what I'm supposed to grab. I'm not gonna bother with it this time. Just because. And apparently, for some reason, the Imperials decided to do a amphibious ground landing. With these gunboats and stormtroopers. They're not really essential to kill. But if you're trying for the, the medals, you need them. Alright, let's see if I can find that bonus. It's in this cluster of buildings. That's it! Dang it! I boosted when I should have brake turned. But that's the bonus, and it still counts that I grabbed it. And frankly, you can afford to lose a life or two on these. I can't hit those stormtroopers. Let's get the walker. He's on approach to the capital tower, and they probably don't have much time left. And that is why you need to bring the airspeeder for this level. Nothing else can take it can take it down. Can take down a walker, not even the falcon. You guys, what are you doing not guarding the capital tower? There's I know the game's going to make me take out the bombers, but I mean, excuse me. I know the game's going to make me take out the walker, but you guys can focus on the bombers, which I cannot hit. Dewey says we should start evacuating the people off the top of the Capitol Towers. Crap, the walker's firing. I hope I didn't let him get too close. Activate harpoon. Activate harpoon. I forgot how to activate harpoon. I thought it was a secondary weapon, but that's not doing it. Oh, there we go. Alright. Yeah, secondary weapon. I'm not sure he's in the Capitol Tower. He's not. He's not even hitting it. Not sure where he thinks he's going, but he's not shooting the capital tower. Okay, that was enough of that. Rolls, I've got trouble over here. They just got the pair of scout walkers outside my building. And now we go kill them. The blue on my shield on my upper left side of the screen there, uh, that's the advanced shield power that I found at another level. Normally the best you can get is green. It's only one or two more levels away from here though that I'll actually find that. Yeah, I shoot a couple of stormtroopers. It's a lot easier in this game than it is in Battlefront. In Battlefront you can't even see them. That's the problem. Uh oh, another heavy walker as well. Yeah, take out these scout walkers, then take out the heavy walker. And as many stormtroopers as I can as well. Thankfully, the friendly turret is doing some of the work for me. I don't remember if I get credit when it comes to, um... Medals. For targets that friendlies blow up, and not me. You gotta be careful on your approach. If you turn too soon, you can bump into the walker's legs and then you're dead. Taking it nice and easy. One more path. You don't have to hard brake turn or anything like that to maintain a nice circle. Keep the cable going. Cable out. Let her go. Commander Skywalker, we're dispatching a shuttle to evacuate Maydeen. Keep those ties off its back. Okay, that's uh, that's all. Nothing left to do other than protect the shuttle, protect the capital tower. Wait a minute, there's two different shuttles. Oh, one for the Maydeen and one for the capital tower. Right. Wait, why does it want me to... It's pointing me toward the one uh, going to the tech center. Oh, well, there's the ties. That would explain it. There's the ties. Oh, wait, they're both ties. Oh, there's the regular TIE fighters. That's yeah, funny. First time in the whole series... Excuse me, first time in the game so far that you've seen regular TIE fighters. I just realized. It's kind of funny. Well, there's no more ties around here. I think you need to go take out the other ones. See if I can take out this couple of stormtroopers down here. No, nope, not happening. Those stormtroopers are no threat to the shuttle. And those are my guys. 
Where are the enemy ties? Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to not see what's going on in the capital tower. I remember now. I'm supposed to stick with this shuttle. Whoop! Almost crashed into the building there. Didn't need to do that. There's the shuttle. No one left to watch it go goodbye, except for a couple of stormtroopers who can't do nothing to it. Just follow the shuttle out of here, and then that'll be the end of the mission. Thanks, Rogue Group. I'm clear. All right. Yeah, because in this sequence here, you're kind of not supposed to be able to see what's going on. They finally built the Capitol Tower. It. It's all right, Luke. You held them off long enough. We evacuated everyone just in time, thanks to Captain Solo and Chewbacca. Ah, that was never my favorite building anyway. Hmm. It's not like there's another way to beat the level and not save the Capitol Tower. The, um, you beat the level or you don't. The Capitol Tower is going to die either way. Okay, so even though I left a couple of those stormtroopers standing, I've still got enough kills for the gold medal. Okay, we'll do one more. Liberation of the Gerard V. Imperial governor is looting the city, using his luxury yachts to transport stolen goods. Help the citizens of Gerard V keep their rightful treasures and stop the Empire in its tracks. Okay. Now, for this mission, I am going to take the Naboo Fighter, just to show it off. It's a standard X-Wing mission. Um... But that Naboo Fighter's cool, so I'm going to show how it works. Gerard V is attempting to gain its independence, but the Imperial Governor is looting the city. Rogue Squadron, you must protect Crick Maybeam's Y-Wings while they disable the escaping ship. Don't worry, we're not so helpless. So yeah, Remember, it's, this is a ground assault mission. My job is to take out these turrets. Who will mostly be shooting at me. But if I wasn't here, they'd be shooting at the Y-Wings. Actually, that one was shooting at the Y-Wing. That's a missile turret. You do not want to mess with a missile turret. And you do not want to have a missile on your tail. See, it shoots real fast. And straight. Good work. Thanks for I do good work. That means you took out enough for the Y-Wings. Yeah, because they're disabling the luxury yachts rather than killing them. Oh, you're a turret. Now you're dead. This thing turns real tight, too. Way tighter than an X-Wing. Any other turrets? No, you guys are just luxury yachts. Okay, well, let's see what else I can kill. Just waiting on the Y-Wings to do their job. There's a turret. Excuse me? Who's shooting at you? They only say that when they're getting shot. Who is shooting at you? Seriously, I am not seeing you guys get shot at. Are you guys killing yourselves? Oh, this guy is shooting at him. You said you were clear anyway. Couldn't see him on the radar before anyway, that was why I took off. But I didn't need to do that. I don't know if it'll count against my friendly saves. I'm on the other side of the planet. We've got trouble. It's the 128th try in the sense of four. Turn the back to the back. Cut the chatter. Wedge, hold them off as best you can. Rogues, we're gonna have company real soon. I know there's more to the map. Another, a whole other city to take out. Where are you guys headed? You guys are headed this way? Oh, okay, here's something else to shoot. Oh, more turrets. More turrets is bad. More turrets equals bad. Especially missile turrets. But turbo laser turrets are bad too. And thankfully they're easy to hit. ATPT is a little less so. Ooh, big turrets. Die already! Let's try that again. There we go. I do those. Whoa! I knew there had to be another walker.
No, that's a yacht. Any more bad guys? I know. Oh, there's a tie. A couple of ties, in fact. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I lost him. Hard for me to make him out. Low res textures. There we go. Not much left for me to have to do here. I don't. Oh, did. Where's the tie go? Oh, there he went. Just finish off these ties, I think I'm good. Whoa, don't want to run into the building. Okay, I'm just gonna... There you guys are. Ah, oh, that was me dying. From crashing into a tie. Told you the collisions are brutal in this game. If I hadn't crashed, I wouldn't have died. Sad story. Now where are you freaking ties? Okay, I'm wishing I had a different... I'm wishing I had a different craft right now because I'm having a hard time hitting these things. And I'm all worried about throwing off my accuracy bonus. I don't have to be. I've already got the freaking gold medal, but... Whatever. Oh, he's like actually on my tail now. I think I pissed him off. Use a torpedo. Oh, we did it. We're just waiting for the Y-Wings. I guess they have to finish off the TIE Fighters after all. Ah, like shooting Y-Wings, do you? Here's a little message from Gold Squadron. This is Lieutenant Jason Moore of the Imperial 128th to an identified Y-Wing. Are you quite done? My vehicle has been disabled for a good two minutes now. Hmm. Jason Moore, consider yourself a prisoner of the Rebel Alliance. Well, if you quit shooting at me, I have a proposal to make. One which would serve us all. Ooh. A female Imperial pilot. And uh, if that one Y-Wing hadn't got shot down by that one ATPT, I would have had the gold medal. <laughs> well, I got it already anyway. So you don't, have to, you don't have to earn them again every time you play the level or nothing. Lieutenant okay. Well, we're going to find out what Case and Moore's... Um, proposal is in the next episode. Until then, keep playing games because games rock. Oh, was I punching him through this? No. Wait, where are they? Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm just punching that. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, I've, I've had enough of punching for now. Let's shoot. <laughs>